Hi, my name is Tammy. I work for Salt Lake County. I work for the library division and I'm at the Whitmore branch. I'm also a certified yoga instructor, so I'm glad you're here with me today. We can do some yoga. So it's great if you can dress in comfortable clothes just so you're able to move easily. A yoga mat is nice. Their yoga mats tend to be sticky, uh, just a little so that your fingers and toes can grip. Um, but if you don't have a yoga mat, you're welcome to just do it on the floor. Just be careful. A yoga block is nice to be able to make the ground more accessible. If you don't have a block, you can just use a folded blanket. Also, a yoga strap is really nice to help uh, maybe reach your toes. If you don't have a yoga strap, a good alternative is a belt or a towel or I've even heard a dog leash. That would work great. So anything along those lines is fabulous. So let's head over to the mat and get started. Let's get started today in child's pose. So let your knees go to the long edge of your mat. You're going to sit back on your heels. If that's uncomfortable, you can sit on a block or a pillow or a blanket. And then walk your fingers up to the top of your mat and forehead can come down and rest on the mat. Your hips might be up high. They might not go down as far as mine, and that's totally fine. Yoga looks different in different bodies. Let's just stay here and breathe for a moment. Maybe you close your eyes. Slow your thoughts. Let's add in threading of the needle. So bring your torso and head up enough so that you can take your right hand and thread it between your left arm and left thigh. You're going to twist so that your right shoulder and right side of the face is on the mat. Your right palm is up. And then just relax back down into the pose. Gently press into your left palm, unthread the needle, place your right hand back, and let's do the other side. So thread your left hand between right arm and knee. Your right palm, left rather, left palm is up, and you can rest back down on your left shoulder and left side of the face. So we're going to do some slow warm-up poses like we're doing right now. And then we're going to bring it up to standing and do a little bit more power. So we want to kind of raise our energy level in a few moments, come into our own power. All right, and thread. Come back to child's pose for a moment. If you want, instead of your forehead on the mat, you can do your chin. And then inhale, coming up to tabletop position. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. Inhale for cow pose, belly drops. Tailbone goes up and gaze goes up. Exhale for cat. Tuck your chin and round your spine. And now flow through this, your breath, your movement. Inhale for cow and exhale for cat. But as you flow through, start by shifting your tailbone, and then your spine, and then your neck, and then your head. And then now as you move to cat, do it the same way. So start with tailbone, spine, neck, and head. All right, so as we're getting warmed up, we're going to come to some more challenging poses. If you'd like a mantra for class, I offer, I can and I do with confidence and joy. We're going to do the yoga. A <laughs> couple more times right here. You can add in anything else that feels good. Warming up, 
move your hips from side to side. All right, I want to teach you a breathing exercise to kind of fire up our breath. And then we'll come to down dog. So go ahead and sit in hero's pose. You're going to sit back on your heels. You kind of let uh, your toes touch and then your heels fall open and you kind of sit in that little bowl that you made. Again, you can sit on a block if you need to come up a little bit higher. I forgot to mention, but you might need a tissue. This breathing exercise tends to kind of clean out your nasal passage. So this is called the breath of fire. We breathe out really strongly with our diaphragm and push the air out. And then as we release that, the air kind of passively and easily comes back in again. So it's all in and out through our nose, and it's pretty rapid. So let me show you a couple of times. So I'm pulling my belly in really quick to do that exhale, kind of popping it in, and it exhales out. Exhale the air out as you pop your diaphragm in, and then as you relax quickly, the air automatically comes back in through your nose, and it always kind of clears out my nose. <laughs> All right, so try a couple just to practice. See if you can find the rhythm, maybe five rounds of breath to feel that rhythm. rhythm. All right, so we're going to try to do 20 in a row. If you ever take a Bikram yoga class, this is a breathing exercise we do at the end. So it's our breath of fire. We're going to try to fire up our breath, get our energy up. All right, so 20 rounds count in your head. Here we go. Big inhale through your nose, side out your mouth. One more time, in through your nose. Side out your mouth. Beautiful. Wipe your nose if you need to. Clean out our sinuses. Good. You can go longer. You can take a round of breath and then do it again. Whatever you need to really feel your energy pick up. All right. So hopefully you feel a little increase in energy. Let's come to down dog. Then we're going to bring it up to standing. So in your down dog, pedal out for just a moment. On an inhale, right leg rises. Three-legged down dog. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your right foot between your hands. Come up to your fingertips and rock forward and back. On an inhale, warrior one. You're going to bring your left foot up just a little bit closer. Bring it all the way. All four corners of your foot is on the mat. It's pointing off to a 45 degree angle. Inhale, bring your torso up. Arms up as well. My hands are facing each other, but not touching. Sorry, they're off camera. You're going to bring your left hip forward as well. Warrior one, stay and breathe. Exhale, warrior two. You're going to open up your stance a little bit if you would like. I like a longer stance. I want my front heel and my back arch in line with each other. Shoulders are stacked over hips. Arms are to a T. Sometimes people start to lean forward, but we really want shoulders over hips. You can bounce a little bit, just gently in this pose. Maybe more of a rocking than a bouncing. Good, let's add some movement in. Straighten your front leg, bring your arms up, touch your fingertips, gaze towards me, and then exhale, back down, gaze over your right fingers. Inhaling up, straighten both legs, fingertips touch. Exhale down. One more inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Flip your right hand. And then side bend over to the left. Your right hand goes over your head. Gaze is under your right armpit. And left arm is sliding down with your left leg. Come as deep as you would like. Exhale, extend a side angle. Coming back through warrior two, extend forward. Right forearm rests on your right thigh, palm is up. Circle sweep your left arm down in front of your body and then spiral your chest open. And then gaze is up and to the left. And then try not to collapse down into your right arm. I have a tendency to do that, so lift it up. Extend a side angle. 
Inhale, reverse your warrior. We were just there. It's like the high five to the back of your face. And then cartwheel your arms over and down to frame your front foot. Rotate on your back foot. Dragonfly twist. Plant your left hand. Right arm goes up. Gaze to follow. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, come back to high plank. Hold it for a moment. Exhale, down dog. All right, let's do the other side. I'm gonna flip around so that I'm still facing you. Inhale, left leg rises. Three legged down dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot between your hands. Come to your fingertips and rock forward and back. Inhale, warrior one. Bring your right foot just a little bit closer and then all four corners down on the mat. Inhale, torso comes up, arms up and overhead. Bring your right hip forward. Gaze is forward. And breathe. Exhale, warrior two. Open up your stance. You want your front heel and your back arch in line with each other, shoulders. Stacked over hips, arms to a T, gazing to the left. When you look down, you should be able to see your left big toe. If your knee's coming in and covering it, get that knee pressing towards the back, your backside body. Bounce just a little, gently. You don't want to come in too deep, right, and pull something. It was just a real baby movement here. All right, inhale, straighten both legs. Arms touch each other, gaze forward, and then exhale, back down to warrior two. Inhale, back up, fingers touch, exhale, back down. One more time, inhale, up, exhale, back down. Reverse your warrior, flip your left palm, side body stretch down to the right, right arm goes down your right leg as deep as you like. Exhale, extend this side angle. Come to your warrior two. Extend over your left toes, left forearm to left thigh, left palm is up. Now I like to circle sweep my right arm. This helps with opening my shoulder and then I open my chest. Extend my right fingers away from me. Really press down into the edge of your right foot so you feel the side stretch from the, your feet all the way to your hands. Inhale, reverse your warrior. We've been here before. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel your hands. Frame your left foot. Rotate on your back. Dragonfly twist. Right hand down. Left arm up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, step back for high plank. And exhale, down dog. Beautiful, let's do it again. So inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Let's do the movement. So front leg, fingers touch. Exhale, back down, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, reverse your warrior, high five to the back of your space, exhale, extended side angle, right arm to right forearm, left arm circle sweeps, inhale, reverse your warrior again, exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your arms down, Dragonfly twist, plant your left hand, right arm up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Nice, I'm gonna stay this direction so my back will be to you. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, reverse your warrior, extended side angle, 
reverse your warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Dragonfly twist, right hand down, left arm up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, down dog. All right, we're building some fire. You can do it. Let's do it one more time. Right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Dragonfly twist, left hand down, right arm up. Low lunge, high plank, down dog. Woo. One more time, left side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten and rise up, touch your fingertips, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, low lunge, part with your arms down. Dragonfly twist, right hand down, left arm up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank, and exhale, down dog. Let's stay for three rounds of breath here. Pedal out your legs. One more inhale through your nose, and exhale your out your mouth. All right, let's keep going. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. We've been here before. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Nice, stay for your inhale. We're gonna add a new pose and do triangle pose. So on an inhale, straighten your front leg. Extend towards the front of your space. And then we twist, right hand goes down. Left arm goes up. This is a great spot for a block because in triangle pose, we really want to stack our shoulder. We don't want this left shoulder coming down. The essence of the pose is stacking shoulders first and then depth coming later. So come up really high on your block. Get those shoulders stacked and then you can lower down. If you don't have a block, you can just hover in space or you can even rest your hand on your shin. All right, we're gonna to come to half moon, which is a nice tricky balancing pose. So take your block out a little bit from your foot. I turn my foot to a 45 degree angle, which is a modification that it helps me be able to balance. Right hand is down on the block or the floor. We're gonna open up our hips. Left leg extends back behind us, flex your toes back towards your body, and then left arm goes up. Half move. If you were doing this pose up against the wall, you'd wanna be able to get both of your glutes onto the wall, which really means rolling that left hip back, which I find to be tricky. <laughs> So find however you can. If you fall out, just come back in again. Not a big deal. All right, inhale up to star pose. Spread your feet wide, toes are pointed out, palms are forward. Good, a little back bend here. Just open up your heart, look up towards the ceiling. Come back to star, nice. Exhale, skandasana to the left. Uh, nope, right. Sorry, I can change my mind. Right. So you're going to bend your right leg and squat down. Your left leg is straight. Left toes are pointed up. Uh, most people don't get this heel down, so if you're up, that's totally fine. Maybe you can put a blanket underneath your heel so you can rest it down. You can also sit on a block 
to be able to um, relieve some pressure here on this pose. And then hands to heart center or to the mat, whatever you need to do. Nice. All right, drop your fingertips, lift your hips, and now we're going to come to Skandasana on the other side. Right leg is straight, left leg has the bend, the hinging, hands to heart center or to the floor, whatever you need. Stay and breathe. Good. Drop your hands, lift your hips enough that you can just kind of spider walk back up to the top of your mat, frame your right foot. Stay for a moment if it feels nice. Plant your hands, high plank, and down dog. Beautiful. All right, let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. We've been here before, lots of warriors today. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Nice. And triangle pose on this side. Straighten your left leg, gonna hinge towards the left, and then we twist. Again, a block is great here, or a blanket, or a pillow. And we want to stack our shoulders before we come deep. So if you're really bending forward, but you're deep, lift up, stack those shoulders, and then you can come down. Right now in triangle, I am feeling this right here on the outside of my right hip and then on the inside of my left leg and a little bit in my shoulders, but not much because they're not really bearing any weight. Good. All right. We want to come to half moon. So we're going to move our block in front of our left foot a little bit. Turn it if you need to to help with stability. Left hand is down. Right leg is up and off, toes pointing back towards my body, and right arm up. Stay and breathe. Might be easier on one side than the other. All right, when you're ready, inhaling up to star pose. Nice little back bend. Come back to star. Skandasana on the left. Left leg lunges, right leg is straight, right toes pointed up. Good. Drop your fingertips, lift your hips, shift over, skandasana on the other side. Right knee bent, left leg straight. Skandasana is pretty tricky pose. Come back to your intention. I can and I do with confidence and joy. All right, drop your fingers, lift your hips just enough that you can rotate back to a low lunge. You're framing your left foot. Can rock forward and back for a moment if that feels nice. High plank and down dog. All right, let's do that sequence one more time on each side. We can do it. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Stay for your inhale. And then exhale, triangle pose. Nice. As soon as you have triangle, you're going to launch off to half moon. Find that block. Beautiful. Half moon takes a moment to find. You can do it. All right, inhale up to star. Skandasana to the right. Lift your hips, Skandasana to the left. Lift your hips, walking to the top of your mat, framing your right foot. High plank, down dog. Nice, last time, left side, we can do it. I'm gonna uh, have my back to you this time. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Warrior two, triangle pose, straighten your left leg, extend and hinge, half moon, take a moment, find your block, realign, 
My left side is much harder for me than my right. Inhale, star. Open your legs up. Skandasana to the left. Lift your hips, Skandasana to the right. Lift your hips, crawl up so you're framing your left foot. Rotate on your back. High plank. And down dog. Side out. Pedal your legs. Good job. Hopefully you got a little bit of fire and burn going there. I can and I do. Nice. Come on down to your knees. Beautiful. Let's do a couple of poses just to lower down, slow it down. So let's do frog pose because I haven't done that before uh, with you guys. So for frog pose, turn so you're facing the long edge of your mat. You definitely want your knees on the mat. Uh, try to line up ankles and knees and hips and knees. But if your feet go out a little bit, it's a little more comfortable in. You can also put your knees on a blanket if you need extra padding underneath there. All right, and then we're just going to come down to our forearms. I'm sorry that I'm going off the camera. Let me scoot back a little bit. So my knees are barely on. So sometimes I rest my forearms on a block so I don't come down quite so deep. When you're in this pose, it's pretty intense. If it is painful, come up. Don't go so deep in the pose. If it's just really uncomfortable, that's okay. And then you want to press your hips back a little bit. So we're not bringing our hips forward and laying on the floor. We're pressing them back. And then it pretty in much intensifies. Sometimes I bring my forearms down to the floor, and then I rest my forehead on the block. All right, so I'm going to stay here for about five rounds of breath. because we really don't do this pose very often. All right, come up on your hands. Bring your feet together to help you release. And then let's just shift over so we're sitting. Bring, actually come this way. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Let your knees go out wide, bound angle pose. You can hold on to your toes if you want. If you like, as an exhale, fall forward. Let's stay here for five rounds of breath. On an inhale, come on up. Turn so you're facing the short edge of your mat, front or back, it doesn't matter. Grab your strap, extend both legs out straight for a seated staff pose here. Try to stack shoulders over hips. Inhale, arms up and overhead, and then exhale, forward fold. If toes are not accessible yet, totally fine. Wrap your strap around the balls of your feet, and then you have something to hold on to. On your inhale, straighten your spine. As your exhale, fold a little deeper. Let's stay here for five rounds of breath as well. forward fold over your left leg. Again, you can use the strap around the 
on the balls of your feet of your left foot. Five rounds of breath on this side. switch so our right leg goes out straight so all your left foot comes in inhale arms up overhead and exhale a seated one-legged forward fold again strap if you have it and need it or just your hands wherever you're at is totally fine remember yoga is not for the flexible it's for the willing wherever we are and our yoga journey is perfect. Inhaling up. Extend both legs. Move your strap out of the way. Scoot down a little bit as you've kind of lost your alignment. Soles of your feet on the mat, knees are up, and let's just come down to our backs. You can engage your core if you want and kind of have a nice little back end of a sit up. Nice and slow. When you get down to the bottom, you have a ponytail in, take it out. Adjust as you need to. Bring your legs up into your chest, strap your hands around your shin. Hug your knees into your chest. Maybe you rock from side to side. Massage out your low back. And then let's twist. So arms out to a T, palms are up. As you exhale, let your knees fall to the right. You're gonna stack your knees and stack your hips. And then gaze goes to the left. open or close. Bring your legs up through center. I like to hold on to my shins again just to kind of realign. And then we'll go the other way. Arms to a T, palms are up, and legs fall over to the left. Stack your knees, stack your hips. Gaze is to the right. As we're finishing class, you're welcome to come back to your intention. I can and I do with confidence and joy. Inhale up through center. Hold on to your shins one last time. Happy baby is on offer, so you let your knees go wide. Your knees are bent. Feet are stamping on the ceiling. Bring your hands in between your legs. I like to put these fingers around my big toes. And you can just rock from side to side. Happy baby. It's pretty uncomfortable the first few times you do it. It just feels really awkward. But over time, it will at least start to feel familiar, if not comfortable at least. All right, you're welcome to take any final movements that you want to, that feel good. Any direction we didn't move enough of, just kind of check in with your body. And then when you're ready, just kind of roll up. You're welcome to stay and have a Shavasana if you'd like. Otherwise, come to easy seat and place your hands on your knees. Finish up your class with any positive thoughts you'd like to send your way. Then I bring my hands to heart center. Thank you for sharing your class with me today.